It's Saturday, August the 24th. I've gone six and two with my last eight free picks on Wager Talk TV. Gone over 59% uh, with the free picks since I started with Wager Talk TV back in mid March. And I believe we're about to make it seven and two and keep that win streak, or I should say that high winning percentage alive because I have a what I believe to be a, a money line winner in today's game between the Twins and the Cardinals. And uh, that game will be played at Target Field in Minnesota. Before I get to that analysis and my winning free pick on that game, just a friendly reminder, folks. If you like what you're hearing from me and if you're appreciative of the work I do for you, uh, please give me a like. It, it goes a long way in showing your token of appreciation for that. And also, goes a long way in keeping these videos free and also keeping the people over at Wager Talk TV happy with me and you. So uh, hit that like button. It would be deeply appreciated. Also, folks, um, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, not sure what you're waiting for, just click on that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. There's no strings attached, no hidden agenda. And uh, while you're at it, uh, just go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be uh, privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world. And also, uh, you'll be notified immediately upon any of our great podcasts, free pick videos, or instructional videos going up on our channel. All right, let's get to what I like to call the meat and potatoes. It'll be Sonny Gray going for the St. Louis Cardinals today. It'll be Pablo Lopez. Uh, going for the Minnesota Twins, 7, 10 p.m. Eastern time, slated start from Target Field in Minnesota. Right now, as we speak, the Minnesota Twins are a minus 136 money line uh, home favorite. That's at Heritage. Um, Sonny Gray, his last four starts on the road have not been very good, folks. Uh, 675 ERA. Now, you look at his whip in those four starts, it's 125. Here's the problem with Sonny Gray over those last four road starts, and it's been a problem all year in his road starts. Uh, he's very vulnerable to giving up the long ball. And uh, in his last four starts alone on the road, nine home runs in 24 innings pitch. Folks, that's absolutely brutal. And then you look at his home and away splits in terms of ERA. At home, he's got a 272 ERA on the road, a 543 ERA. So that's... Uh, 2.7 runs higher on the road than he uh, has displayed at home with just about the same amount of starts both home and away. Uh, Gray's also going to be facing a Minnesota team that's hit 28 home runs in their last 21 games and averaged over five runs per game during that time. So uh, he's a tough ass for a guy who's been struggling on the road against a team that's been putting up runs, albeit um, St. Louis won 6-1 to one yesterday. Uh, but uh, the overall picture here doesn't set up well for a good matchup for Sonny Gray against Minnesota. Now, Pablo Lopez, the starter for, or the slated starter, I should say, for the Minnesota Twins, over his last six, he's been very good. A 268 ERA, a 1.11 whip. Um, against this current St. Louis roster, uh, the St. Louis uh, hitters, are just a career 11 for 58 against Pablo Lopez. That's a, a team batting average of 190 and then a terrible OPS of 462. So Pablo Lopez has a good history against uh, these current Cardinals. And also, again, he's in good form over his last six starts. Over his last 11 home starts, uh, Lopez has received plenty of run support. Uh, in those 11 home starts, the Minnesota Twins have scored 6.6 .6 runs per game per, for Lopez. So uh, that's also something to keep in mind. St. Louis, like I mentioned, they won 6-1 to one yesterday as an underdog. But they're 3-7 and seven this year as an away underdog of 100 or greater when coming off an away underdog win of 100 or greater. Mm. And also St. Louis, 2-6 and six this year off a... Underdog, a money line underdog win of 120 or greater, which they were yesterday. So they don't follow up when they come up with a money line underdog win like they did yesterday at, I believe, plus 130. Uh, they don't follow up with a good performance in, in the next game this year. Uh, not a lot, big sample size, but two and six 
in that particular range. So uh, the Minnesota Twins, by the way, 13-5 and five in their last 18 at home off a home loss. Uh, so they lose six to one yesterday. Um, actually, thirteen and eight on the year in that situation, but thirteen and five over their last eighteen at home off a home loss. The Twins are also six and one in their last seven after scoring one run or less in their previous game, and they outscored the opposition by two runs per game while doing so. Despite St. Louis's win yesterday on the road, there's three and eight in their last eleven on the road being outscored by an average of 2.2 runs per game. And that includes 0-3 in their last three uh, on the road as an underdog of plus 125 or greater. And they were outscored in those three games by four runs per game. I'm going with the Minnesota Twins here on the money line, minus 136 over the St. Louis Cardinals for my free pick in Major League Baseball on Saturday, August the 24th. Once again, Minnesota, minus 136 over St. Louis. Don't forget, college football starts today, but you know what? I'm passing on the first Saturday in college football. Very limited card. Myself, I don't care for the value I saw. There is a free pick on uh, Wager Talk TV from myself in the uh, Montana State and New Mexico game, so check that out at Wager Talk TV. Also, folks, keep in mind, um, 30% off right now at Wager Talk for all single game and daily uh, single game and multi-game daily packages as, as well as all access subscription plans. That special runs through tomorrow and it marks our 10-year anniversary today mm. uh, that Wager Talk began their operation. And uh, all you need to do is once you make a purchase on any single game, multi-game daily package or uh, any um, all access pass, all you need to do is uh, at checkout, put in the promo code 10 year. That's 10 Y E A R. And uh, we'll automatically take 30% off your purchase. That special runs through tomorrow at midnight. So take advantage of that offer folks. My college football last year, by the way, uh, finished number two overall at Wager Talk. Matter of fact, college football and NFL combined number two over at Wager Talk. You can get my college football annual package for $529 for an additional $300, only $829. You can get my college football and NFL annual package. Uh, That will take you right through the postseason through the Super Bowl, and through the college football championship game. Major League Baseball uh, on a modest 5-2 and two run. Uh, so keep an eye on my Major League Baseball plays. Until the next time, which will be on Monday, take care and God bless, folks.